Okay. So now, we have understood elements. So, most important thing is whenever you see a serious case, especially cases where the problems are severe, children who are very serious, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, autism, ADHD, the more serious the case, more clearer the chart. It becomes very simple for you to prescribe. So people who have people who have serious problems, multiple disorders, it could be a mental disorder, it could be a physical disorder. You will find the charts just telling you out, help me, please help. So in contrast, what we, when we repertorize a case or when we, when we are handling serious cases, it is difficult for us to prescribe a remedy. But astrologically, when you see a chart, all serious cases give you a clear cut opinion, a clear cut decision, a clear cut remedy. And it becomes extremely easy to treat the patient. So that is the reason nowadays I am getting very good results in serious cases. Because the charts are very clear. In normal cases, let's say it is skin case, psoriasis, eczema, acne, anxiety, mild anxiety, cough, cold, tonsillitis. The charts are not of much use because the charts are balanced. I mean, there will be one or two planets in earth element, one or two planets in uh, water element, in air element. So you will not be able to use the chart to prescribe. So majority homeopaths send their chart to me, and you don't have any problems. Your chart is balanced. I will not able to. I will not be able to prescribe on your chart until unless you have a serious disease or a serious illness. So, so many doctors ask me, "You see my chart, or, or see this chart? He's having cold, or he's having tonsillitis, or having adenoids." Boss, you should not use the chart. You cannot use astrology because your chart is balanced. Just take a proper case history, prescribe remedy. It is going to work. In serious diseases, in children, in neurological disorders, in cancers, if you use this methodology, it will give you wonderful results. Because the chart just scream out, give me a remedy and I'll be better. So when they come to you, especially those who understand astrology or those who understand homeopathy and astrology and are classical homeopaths, they have first of all come to you because they are going to be cured. And you will be able to help them. At least palliate them in CA patients. So use this, especially in serious cases. Methodology. It will just give you a remedy very clearly. Okay. 
now elements we have finished now we see houses dominant now first house is most important house in the horoscope first house means me first house means my health first house means my personality so any planet present any planet affecting your first house will affect your health will affect your personality will affect your mind so any chart you see if you see maximum planets in the first house or if you see even one or two planets in the first house it is very easy for you to prescribe because that planet will play a major role in your personality on your health so first house if you got maximum planets means you are anxious about your health you are self obsessed you are self centered means everything revolves around yourself one of the most easiest rubric to take if you have got sun in first house is egotism especially if you have got sun in aries sun in leo means your aries is the first house leo is your first house agni tatva 159 are your first house and you have got sun out there means you are 101% egoistic so egoistic is going to be an eliminating symptom a person comes to you i am not egoistic i am very uh, caring egoistic person also can be very caring or sympathetic but then the theme is going to be ego so sun in first house means either he will be egoistic or he'll have a lot of self esteem his ego will get hurt very easily so this is one of the most important tip sun in first house jupiter in first house if you have got jupiter in first house means especially again agni tatva hmm 159 or water element 4 812 so either a water element or agni tatva means either you are egoistic or you are very diligent you are conscientious specifically water element 4812 means 101% eliminating rubric would be conscientiousness or diligence especially in 4 and 12 cancer and pisces because cancer in cancer jupiter gets exalted and pisces it's his it's his own sign so eliminating rubric sun egotism 159 Jupiter four and twelve, first house Jupiter. If you have four and twelve, eliminating symptom is going to be conscientiousness. Conscientiousness about trifles or anxiety about concerns. Because this rubrics we are taking day to day in our practice, especially predictive homeopaths. Saturn in first house, any house. any sign slowness <coughs> constitutionally you are going to be slow or you are going to be indolent so if you tell this person do physical exercises do aggressive exercises more than physical exercise aggressive fast exercises he will not be able to do or fast sports he will not be able to do that is saturn then one more combination moon moon in first house eliminating rubric any sign is offended easily 
and sensitive to criticism Sen sensitive to reproach eliminating symptom moon in first house sensitive to criticism sensitivity in general full moon new moon aggravation sensitive to reproach sensitive to reprimands eliminating rubric hmm. then we have got ketu in first house headlessness ketu is headless influenced easily eliminating rubric or headlessness like alumina so if you are thinking alumina as a remedy and you will find ketu in first house prescribe alumina mars in first house aggression aggressive remedy tendency for hurt tendency for injury eliminating symptom especially head injury like natrum sulf one of the most important remedy for head injury belladonna arnica hypericum all injury remedies you can think about when you have got mars in first house so anybody who has got mars in first house ask them whether they are they have got tendency for injuries especially head injuries another this is another tip rahu in first house discontented and dissatisfied personality it may be a colorful personality ranveer singh something like tarantula they will love colors orange fluorescent so you can think about animal remedies so this is about first house so first house any planet you have again what planets i have told you these are prescriptive this is what i have prescribed these remedies i have prescribed or this symptoms i have taken this rubrics i have taken and it has worked in 90% of cases so i am not considering nakshatras out here when you have nakshatras then you can be more precise but it is not required as far as homeopathy is concerned or as far as prescription is concerned understanding yes you may require nakshatras but even if you have understanding of houses signs and planets you don't require hmm? so now if we take rubrics first house self absorbed mind means many planets in first house hmm? sensitive over sensitive egotism selfishness over sensitive to reprimands over sensitive to rudeness over sensitive to trifles then you find remedies ignatia lacases nux staphysagria nitric acid hmm? belladonna this this all remedies are coming up but you have to take only one of the symptom depending upon which planet is dominant or which planet uh, which sign is more dominant hmm? and i have already given you the hints like sun is most dominant in 159 aries leo sagittarius jupiter in watery signs one more thing mercury 
Mercury first house, intellectual sign. Mercury is an intelligent planet. It's a learning. So the eliminating rubric is going to be inquisitiveness. Always ask questions. Loquacity. The main drugs I think about is lachesis and sulfur. Mercury first house. Not homeopathic mercury. Mercury as a planet. Buddha. Buddha first house. Lachesis. Sulfur. Inquisitiveness will be very much marked in them. Loquacity can be marked. The personality will always be unstable. So, undertakes many things, but does not perceive. Something like China also. Fancies. I'll do like this, I will do like that. I'll become a scientist, I'll become this, that. That is also again Mercury, first house. Fancies absorbed in fancies exaltation. Hmm? Mercury Rahu cannabis indica. It becomes more exalted. Drug remedies. First house. Rahu is exaltation of or negative exaltation of all planets. So whatever are the negative qualities of planets, they get exalted. Whenever Rahu is present very close to that planet. Like Jupiter Rahu, I'll be coming up, but since first house is very important, I'm taking more time. It would be pseudo diligency. There will be confusion whether to be. Chalo, I'm a government officer. My image is very diligent. But there will be always be a greed. Ki chalo, le lu mein. Isse paise, le lu. Let me take money from this guy to pass. Kya hota hai? I can take one mistake. So he commits one mistake. Whenever Rahu becomes overcome, then he is gone. Pseudo diligency, or there is a problem related to diligence. <clears throat> So, remedies. The second house, maximum planet. So, what is second house? Second house is your house of speech. Second house is your house of family. Second house is money matters. It's a part of Artha Trikon. So, anxiety about family, if moon is present. Anxiety about money matters. If Mercury is present, then the rubrics are fear of poverty, quarrels with family if Mars is present, grief from family if Saturn is present, or struggles for money matters. So, second house planet is all about family, it is all about money, it is all about resources. It is all about speech. So either of these things will be affected. So in the case, if you feel uh, he's talking everything, he's talking about everything else, he's talking about work, and if he has got many planets in second house, hmm, ask the question whether are you worried about family matters? Are you worried about money matters? Are you worried about your speech? Are you worried? Are you... Do you find difficulty on stage or are you good on stage? So the remedies, so anxiety about money matters, anxiety about family, fear of poverty, avarice, I can take, quarrelsome, miss either of the, whichever, whichever planet becomes dominant. Like Mars is dominant in Agni Tattva 159, and Capricorn. So if the second house is 159 or 10 number and Mars is there, then you can think about quarrelsomeness as a rubric. 
और एंगर रिलेटेड टू फैमिली सो आइदर ऑफ दिस रूब्रिक्स विल बी रेलिवेंट इन योर केस एंड द मेन रेमेडी विच कम्स अप इज आर्सेनिक और ब्रायनिया और कैलकेरिया कैलकेरिया फ्लोर एंड मार्स लाइक आई से कालीज कैन कम अप एंड थर्ड हाउस थर्ड हाउस इज ऑल अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन विच इज पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव सो एनी चाइल्ड एनी पर्सन हुज गॉट कम्युनिकेशन इश्यूज सी थर्ड हाउस or any person who has got communication issues see third house so either he'll be very courageous or he can be very timid see third house so speech i mean communication means difficulty in communication shyness all these things will come from third house and siblings will also come to three or third house so if sun ra miss negative planets or strong planets like sun mars rahu in third house makes a person courageous and confident so straight forward you are going to take the rubric audacity or courageous rahu in third house one of the most important remedy is medorhinum so any patient if you see rahu in third house eliminate and the patient sleeps on his abdomen straight forward give medorhinum don't think also because it is pseudo courageousness rahu is false ego false courage so medorhinum outside is very obstinate but inside is very timid and non diligent so rahu third house any chart sleep position abdomen fidgety legs give medorhinum if jupiter saturn ketu or moon in third house rubric is going to be timidity so we will think about all timid remedies on lack of confidence this is going to be your eliminating rubric if mercury then communicative and desire for travel also comes mercury third house is astrology also mercury and jupiter both third house is astrology and mercury is more of communication and sales sulfur one of the most important remedy mercury third house is sulfur and lacases hmm. or even calcareous or depending upon other combination hmm. so rubrics third house like i have taken one is moon jupiter ketu rahu that is the timidity and mars mercury rahu surya which are courageous hmm. so you find here moon jupiter ketu saturn either of this or multiple combination jalsemium baryta ka silica ambra grisha uh, last would be lycopodium plumbum plumbum is also timid hmm? argentum nitricum also has got stage fear anticipation hmm? so main remedies are jalsemium baryta silica ambra and mars mercury rahu surya main remedies you will find lacases tuberculinum belladonna mercury veratrum sulfur mezerin mezerium opium agaricus these are the main remedies which i have prescribed so third house then the fourth house fourth house again like first house become one of the most important house for prescription this is what i have used saturn in fourth house any person who has got saturn in fourth house you are going to saturn or ketu you are going to take the rubric bed feels hard and four second feeling
so forsaken by family forsaken by mother neglected feeling saturn fourth house because fourth house is the house of mother fourth house is the house of comfort so when saturn comes there saturn tells no you should not be comfortable you should be working continuously so mother will not allow you to sleep she will be strict she will tell you get up you will not get affection from the mother means you have that delusion or you have got that feeling which may or may not be a fact hmm? so again a very important house because fourth house i told you is cancer basically and fourth house ailments are also cancers so breast cancer c fourth house in a chart whether there is problem in the fourth house ha huh? so you have got home desire you can take forsaken feeling then if eliminating symptom jupiter if jupiter is in the fourth house especially again i told you agni tatva hmm, or water element especially 4 and 12 your house means you will always ask this question to the patient do you have do you is your family very religious or is your mother very religious or do you have uh like in jains we we keep murti and they do puja or abhishek daily in the house means they have got a temple in the house so you'll we'll always ask for that so religiousness or spirituality can become a theme in that person hmm. moon in fourth house clinging to mother so child moon fourth fourth house you want to prescribe a genetic constitution similimum clinging is the rubric which you will take as eliminating symptom if sun mother is going to be as father is is going to be strong venus one of the most important remedy is veratrumal carcinosin palladium house is going to be beautiful house is going to be luxurious the car is going to be beautiful the car is going to be luxurious his rooms are going to be big so everything which is big or beautiful remedies are veratrum palladium carcinosin eliminating symptom and you cannot go wrong out here mars saturn ketu all three feels bed is hard or bed is very hot mars and sun they feel bed is very hot so they are twisting and turning in bed not very comfortable position for mars so fourth house like first house again a very important house for prescription especially children where you want to find out mother's history during pregnancy so you see third and fourth house third house is some subconsciousness first 3 4 months of pregnancy fourth house is during pregnancy what he feels what he the mother used to feel so very important third and fourth house especially for children to understand them during or mother state during pregnancy hmm? so rubrics related to fourth house ketu and saturn if it is present forsaken feeling mind forsaken uh, isolation sensation of forsaken feeling friendlessness these are all the rubrics i have taken estranged from family the drugs are hura platina is also coming up anacardium lachesis sepia for example ketu saturn moon jupiter venus pulsatilla bryonia i don't know why it is coming up natrium is there 
silica is could be there hmm? borax containment is there hmm? so these are mean so you have to take one of this as an eliminating symptom I will go through quickly now. Fifth house is inquisitiveness, independent, sports desire for business aptitude. It's also, I have not written here, it's also a house of affairs. So fifth house, most important dominant is anxiety about own children. One rubric could be that. Second rubric would be thoroughly independent people these people are inclined towards business they don't like to take up a job so it is basically independent thinking so it can be as a poet it can be in sports it is also learning ability means independent learning ability so that is fifth house so if you have got fifth house and you have got saturn in fifth house Delayed pregnancy in females, in males, it may be sluggish sperms, especially if Mars is weak and Saturn in fourth house, in fifth house. So, any male patient, if you see Mars is weak, means Mars is in Cancer, where it becomes debilitated. Mars is movement, so movement is required for sperms. So Mars being debilitated in males and Saturn in fourth house, infertility. Saturn or Ketu or Saturn Ketu together fifth house. Chances are that that his sperm count is less or there is motility issues related to sperms. In females, eggs may not rupture. Females, it is opposite. Saturn, Ketu, 5th house, Mars increased. Mars, strong. High testosterone levels. Low progesterone, estrogen, high testosterone. <coughs> it also indicates PCOD, polycystic ovary disease. <coughs> So Mars strong in females, especially of Capricorn and Saturn K2, fifth house, again, infertility combination because of high testosterone and PCOD. Another indication. Now, infertility, we have got excellent results. Just by going through this, we prescribe and then you have to give a remedy or conception should occur. At, I have told this to other classes also. Means you should have relations when moon in transit comes in your fifth house. Because moon and Venus, these are the most important planets for fertility. So Venus comes in your fifth house once in a year. But moon comes in your fifth house once in a month. So if you can regulate the period of the female. <coughs> and have conception or have ovulation. When moon is in the fifth house. Chances of pregnancy increases significantly, at least 70%. And I have got more than 10 cases whom I have worked in this fashion and they are conceived. Constitutional remedy and ovulation period when moon in the transit comes in fifth house. So you can give OC pills to that person and regulate the periods so that the ovulation occurs when moon is in fifth house. And you should and you will find excellent result. Mm -hmm. So fifth house. So fifth house rubrics, inquisitiveness, independence, versus makes, business desires. Business talks of lacases, tramonium, hyacinthus, conium, but that is the theme. One more important house is sixth house. Like I told you, one, four, six. I use ninety percent of the time. Dominant rubrics are anxiety about disease, feels disease is incurable, 
they are basically cautious in nature the rubric of sixth house is cautiousness so anxiety cautious or cautious anxiety about disease or anxiety about health and a routinist so main remedy is arsenic sixth house dominant so you get fastidious you get anxiety about health you get anxiety about disease which disease is incurable and he feels he is surrounded by enemies somebody will take away his job or fear that something bad will happen so i have to be perfectionist i have to be a routinist i have not ready to take a lot of risk that is sixth house dominant and sixth house is also house of acute diseases so you find arsenic getting more and more acute diseases one of the most important remedies for diarrhea most of important remedy for epidemics more important remedy of covid most important remedy for cough and cold one of the most important remedy even for cancer so sixth house dominant main remedy is arsenic so routine needs courage sorry cautious anxiety help about suspicious so you got arsenic you got baraita also who are routinist in nature so if you three three marks pulsatilla is also coming up very strongly are the fearful remedies so sixth house again one of the most important seventh house dominant seventh house dominant seventh house is a house of partner is a house of marriage so in seventh house practical hint if you find rahu and moon in seventh house so this person is going to be either he or his partner is going to be extremely suspicious extremely possessive about his partner so in seventh house if you have this combination and the patient is not opening up ask about relations about her his marriage or her marriage what exact the problem the sphere of action is there seventh house huh? so seventh house is all about loquacity all about stage jealousy suspiciousness jesting cheerfulness so one of the most important like i told you suspicious lacases lyco belladonna nux staph hyoscyamus tramonium main remedies lacases seventh house predominant animal remedies you will find seventh house predominant now eighth house again a very important house i use for prescription this is especially useful patients who don't open out at all they don't talk to you at all they will talk about everything else but not about their health about their emotions they will never talk so in such people see eighth house so eighth house is a house of secrets so extremely secretive persons extremely suspicious persons extremely hateful persons hmm? it is chronicity extremely difficult to open so one of the most important remedy for eighth house dominant person is nitric acid sankris in an animal remedies crotalus cascavella clairvoyance clairvoyance is also seen from eighth house eustilago murex to some extent phosphorus who are nymphomaniac or lascivious in nature history of molestation see from the 8th house a female comes to you strong 8th house secret to you not talking much you see guilt in her eyes or you see embarrassment in the eyes 
ask history of molestation molestation rapes are seen from 8000 staphis agria vexation indignation tendency for masturbation 8000 so 8000 secretive people most difficult to crack in homeopathy because they don't tell your history but astrologically the easiest thing to prescribe you see 8000 you see rahu and moon in 8000 101% the person is having chances of him having multiple affairs or hidden sexuality or tendency for masturbation another important thing saturn in 8th house signifies longevity these person don't die so if you see a cancer patient and saturn in 8th house saturn period is going on he is not going to die he may suffer he may be bedridden but he will not die saturn causes suffering saturn never causes death so 8th house 8th house cancer patients hmm and you have got saturn in 8th house hmm you can 101% say to them don't take chemotherapy don't take radiotherapy just be on homeopathy because you have got time for the medicine to act and if you give a constitutional or a genotype or a phenotypic similimum he will improve you will be able to decrease the suffering of the patient excellent results and you can be very safe because again the same statement i am repeating he is not going to die he has got a long life so that is saturn in 8th house it can also mean that he is a hemiplegic patient a paraplegic patient who is on bed or who is in coma for years long that also is saturn in 8th house so i use this methodology especially in ca patients i find saturn in 8th house i tell them stop chemo stop radiotherapy you will suffer more and you will not going to die but you you are going to suffer more keep him only on homeopathy and he is going to be safe in contrast to saturn if you have got mars in 8th house and the patient of cancer Hmm. or a serious disease comes to you you will always have to prescribe a fast remedy a acute remedy irrespective of cancer irrespective of any serious diseases the remedy has to be as acute as belladonna it can be it can be acute it can be mercury mercor more than mercsol mercor merc iodum flavor merc iodum rubrum drosera spongia you will need a very fast remedy otherwise the patient you will lose the patient you may require remedies which are used which homeopathic trocar we call it homeop or dnc thalapsi bursa uterine cancer hmm then sabaina Huh? Then, uh, oh, what one more remedy? Even silica, arnica, hmm? even drugs like silica, arnica, bellispar, hypericum, calendula, conium. 
these are all injury remedies so cancer with cancer or any serious diseases with mars in 8th house hmm, prescribe injury remedies first thing you eliminate is injury remedies again i'm repeating arnica bellisper uh, rustox bryonia calendula hypericum one of the most important remedy i have given is arnica fantastic results even in ca mars 8th house cancer patient severe pains you arnica he will not require morphine he will not require voveron he will not require patches 100% guarantee hmm? and if he is not better don't be heroic let him get admitted if he needs surgery he will 101% need surgery because mars is in 8th house so you will have to give injury remedies if it doesn't work don't wait let him go for surgery hmm? or he will require surgical intervention hmm? uh, one more thing bell is per one of the most important remedies mars in 8th house cancer where metastasis is somewhere else rectal cancer metastasis brain cancer which travels through lymphatic system is bellisper especially where spleen or liver are involved lymphatic system cancer somewhere metastasis somewhere else and they are not able to establish primary cause not being established or primary site of cancer means whenever you get a report primary site of cancer not established or a query and metastasis mars in 8th house most important remedy is bellisper it will and it has to work 100% so 8th house very important house for cancer very important house for chronicity so that is why i have taken time so 8th house remedies which commonly means either of this can work you know, reserved secretive suspiciousness religiousness injury prone to i have not put that rubric superstitious cautious can be hatred and revenge you know? so aurum ignatia again lachesis trimonium zincum one of the most important remedy brain metastasis 8th house dominant and brain metastasis think about zincum 8 12 combination 8th house dominant 12th house dominant and brain the only remedy you will prescribe is zincum two three planets in 8th house two three planets in 12th house and brain mets or brain complaints in general or convulsive tendency even in children 8 12 and brain if you rectify this and if you give zincum you will get results fantastic results of zincum that is what i have experience hmm. now ninth house dominant uh, not very useful as far as prescription is concerned the rubric is diligence or conscientiousness means is trapped in spirituality is trapped in tradition and luck favors them one second here hmm. and luck favors them so it is basically for tradition so you can say a person could be traditional uh, religiousness and diligence conscientiousness uh, ninth house dominant uh, one of the most important remedies aurum 
प्राण जाए पर वचन ना जाए दैट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ औरम और नाइन्थ हाउस डोमिनेंट पर्सन हरिश्चंद्र राजा हरिश्चंद्र प्राण जाए पर वचन ना जाए दैट इज नाइन्थ हाउस वन सेंटेंस टेंथ हाउस इज और वर्क डिजायर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर पॉलिटिशियंस डोमिनेरिंग टाइप ऑफ पीपल इंडस्ट्रियस सो टेंथ हाउस डोमिनेंस मीन्स यू विल टेक द रूबरिक एम्बिशियस वर्क डिजायर फॉर इंडस्ट्रियस वेर दे बिलीव दे डोंट बिलीव इन इमोशंस i hate tears that is the rubric of 10th house no emotions hmm? not at all unmoved by apologies i just remembered the rubric that is 10th house eight 10 combination if it is there in a person or suppose vrishik is eight is 10th house and you have got scorpio as 10th house and you got many planets in 10th house unmoved by apologies no emotions especially mars saturn rahu are in eight in 10th house these are very hard people very industrious people for work they don't they care a shit for emotions so completely intellect dominating over emotion that is 10th house huh so rubrics are lycopodium naxomica again uh, sulfur veracter now these are common rubrics i have taken for you all to understand but there could be specific rubric industrious exertion physical ameliorates memory active ambition much ambitious mind dictatorial hmm. <clears throat> 11th house dominant person ha huh? friendly gains become important money minded means everything about gain hmm? so moon in 11th house extremely friendly people hmm so loves company loves to travel loves people to be around him uh, <clears throat> is all for gains huh? so drugs like phosphorus will come up mm-hmm. so one of the main remedies is phosphorus 11th house predominant so see again belladonna phosphorus these remedies are coming up even company desire for pulsatilla will also come up hmm now another important house as far as homeopathy is concerned 12th house 12th house is the house of hospitalization 12th house is trapped feeling trap 12th house is 12th from first house means of your health so it is loss of health it is death so if you got majority planets it is also house of bed sleep basically because when you are asleep when you are in dreams you are as good as you are dead means you are it is it is beyond your control so 12th house is beyond your control so 12th house dominant people have lot of dreams or they have got fear to sleep so extreme they can be extremely fearful fear they will die when they sleep hmm. ailments from loss it could be loss of health it could be financial loss positive side it can be they can be very spiritual very charitable they can become they can they can be a monk
So this is twelfth house. Delusion pursued by police. This is one of the most important rubrics of twelfth house. Restless sleep. So everything related to sleep, everything related, whatever you are in your dream, is related to twelfth house. So twelfth house main feeling is trapped feeling. Isolation sensation of. They feel isolated. They feel trapped. They feel jailed. So again, our most important remedy for twelfth house is zincum cuprum. Hmm. Opium. As if they are in a coma. Another important rubric of twelfth house is painlessness of complaint, painful. Baptisia, painless throat, cancers twelfth house, breast cancer, painless or throat painless, phytoleka, again is twelfth house dominant. Breast cancers. Even conam can come up because it is celibacy. Unmarried females, unmarried males, those who have gone into spirituality. Hmm? Spirituality again is twelfth house. So one of the most important remedy is conam. So in metals you have got zincum, cuprum. Plants you have got conam, phytoleka, and opium, baptisia. These remedies I have given for twelfth house dominant. So you find veratrum sulfur, but the remedies which are given because I was not able to convert it into rubrics much. But these are the remedies which which, which can come up. Hmm? Okay, we stop here for you know what is the time.